It's a chilly start to the work week live in Everett, Snoqualmie and Stevens passes with rain and a drop in temperatures overnight. Parts of western Washington waking up, waking up to a rain snow mix this morning. And by later this morning, Rich says we could see showers in the lowlands. The mountains could see up to eight inches of snow. Lots to get to here on your Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Jake Wittenberg and I'm Mimi Jung. So good to have you with us starting your work week with us. Shantae has taken a look at the roads and how the rain and possible snows impacting the roadways. But first, let's uh, send it over to Rich. Talk about this wintry mix that we're getting out there this morning. Rich. Yeah, it's already starting to transition over from that uh, rain snow mix to just rain showers out there, which is where we're going to head during the course of the day today. You can see on the Doppler radar right now that we have that little front kind of pushing its way through. In fact, the precipitation is mostly stopped up to the north. There was a lot of rain shadowing in the central sound, but a little band of rain has finally moved through there. You see up around Bellingham, still seeing a little bit of uh, light snow, especially as you move farther inland, but basically drying out and the snow levels are going up this morning, so we're not looking for any, any additional problems from uh, the snow that's come down. Checking our commuter forecast, areas of rain or snow around this morning, trending towards rain and then just rain showers for this afternoon. Temperatures right now mostly in the 30s and warm into the low to mid 40s this afternoon. A little bit of a break in any kind of shower tomorrow, and then it looks like We'll see some rain moving in for Wednesday and maybe warmer and wetter conditions for the weekend. That forecast coming up. Shante. And for those of you leaving up north, here's a look in Ferndale where parts of I-5 are covered with snow. So give yourself some extra time, but a different situation about 10 miles south in Bellingham where that snow is mainly off to the side of the road. Other than that, though, we're dealing with normal congestion in our other portions of the viewing area. I'll give you a breakdown in a few minutes. Thank you, Shante. Let's take a live look now up at Snoqualmie Pass where it has been snowing this morning and it's just a taste of what might be to come. Yeah, this means that certain travel is restricted over the past this morning. Kara I'll fall in there live on Snoqualmie over I-90. How's it looking this morning, Kara? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So it's snowing pretty lightly here at the summit where we are at Snoqualmie Pass and almost kind of feels more like fog or mist. We've seen a couple cars driving through already here at the summit. They seem to be uh, getting around pretty well. It wasn't too hard for us. This is kind of what it looks like here out on the ground. You're seeing a little bit more uh, fluffy snow. We're getting a little bit of new snow here. Not really slippery where we are, but over on Snoqualmie Pass, we do know that Washdot is reporting that there is compact snow in some areas ice in other areas. There are also some restrictions if you're going to be traveling. So unless you have an all wheel drive car, you will need chains and oversized vehicles at this time are prohibited. So of course the wind is picking up a little bit and starting to blow that snow into my face again. Uh, but we're going to come back to you in about, well, I think it's just 15 minutes or so with another quick little update for you. Uh, for now, I'm going to go press my face in the window of the coffee shop that's supposed to open here in the next <laughs> 20 minutes because I need something warm to keep going this morning. And what, drink, you what drink is that, Kira? If you're getting a coffee, what is it for you this morning? Chai tea latte. Okay. Chai. Well, I, I, I don't do coffee very much, and I know that's not very popular, but caffeine doesn't sit super well for me. <laughs> I mean, I know there's some caffeine in chai tea, but it's just not as much. Chai tea is my thing. You know what? That's it's what I'm going it's always for. fun when we have those mm -hmm. reporters out there because I've been there. You've been there, yep. Jake, where you stand out there and it's so cold that you your lips get cold and you have trouble enunciating words. <laughs> That's always really, really fun. <laughs> we don't want to see that happen to you. All right. I don't know if I'm coherent. Trying yeah, we'll to get see. warm. Trying to get warm. Trying to stay warm. Thanks, Thanks Kira. Kira. <laughs> and the snow came down to the lowlands as well. Here's a live look at Bellingham. We've been looking at this parking lot for the last couple of hours and the snow has actually started to melt because of the rain now. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, much of a problem problem out on the road uh, that's in this live shot, but we've gotten a pretty decent amount of accumulation up there in Whatcom County and people have been texting us photos of what it looks like outside their window. Here are some pictures we've gotten this morning. This one from Brianna Miller Whaley. This was her commute in uh, this morning in Bellingham. Mm. Pretty decent layer of snow out on the roads. We also got photos from Ferndale and Linden, Custer Bay, um, and uh, some snow up on the trees too. So it's kind of pretty out there and not anything that's causing too much of an issue. Right. Check your school districts this morning as well. Linden, Ferndale, Mount Baker, Meridian, two hour delay because of that snow.